children. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, well the pheasants and all the projects on this part of the table are patterns from the book and you're very welcome to have a look through it. I started knitting a few years ago my sister uh, studied textiles so I learnt to knit from her and then along the way I had people helping as well so maybe knitting maybe five years and then doing like self-employed knitting designer for three. I left uni and my work went viral and I got asked to write the patterns for magazines and Bowdoin commissioned like the big heads as well so it just kind of evolved from a project I did at university to like my whole career so it's been really really fun. Since I have learned to knit it's become very very trendy I think and maybe not inside the knitting world but outside of it you're seeing more people doing it and learning craft which is a lovely thing because I like to cater my designs to like maybe more contemporary knitters. I started with like the woodland guys um, and then moved on to um, everyone else. So it's just slowly building up and I'm thinking about going mythical next. And maybe a unicorn, I'm not sure. <laughs> I do toys occasionally, but I just really love making heads. I'm known as, in the knitting world, I'm known as the girl that makes the heads, but I think I'm okay with that. This is the ram head and I haven't quite finished him yet. It needs a bit of sewing up. But the kits come with them, um, like all the wool in the bags, like you get ev everything you need in there, all the wool. And at the bottom of it is just stuffing. So it comes with everything. Um, you get like little sewing threads, needle. Um, they're hung up with a tiny bit of fishing line because they're that light, they'll hang on a nail or a drawing pin, but I do not recommend that for your home. Um, once they're knitted, you knit, you knit the top, you knit the back and you sew them up with a mattress stitch. And then you pop this um, laser cut back in and you sew it up along, you stuff it, you sew it up. And once it's all sewn, you can sew back up that way, still need to finish it. And then after it's done, it'll just hang on any wall super flat. So they're like proper faux knitted animals, yeah. <laughs> and they come in the hand painted Hessian bags, which has the picture. So after you finish with it, it makes a great project bag or you can plant potatoes in it or uh, use it as a big plant bag. There's lots of different uses for it. <laughs> It'll be amazing if you get it made. You will. How long is your journey back? Yeah, only three hours. Yeah, do it easily. I might get it started though. Right, so in your kit you get two balls of the um, copper, a little bit of cream for the ears, your knitting needles, and I'll just grab your pattern for you as well. And once you've made it, or once you've off your train, you send me a picture. Love to see it. Thank you. Right, thank you very much. Enjoy. I think with my work, especially, it's like super. Ch it's like nine mil needles on super chunky wool. So people don't have that excuse with me that I haven't got time to do it because I can knit head up in five hours and get it on the wall. So, like that's what I like about my work is it's accessible to beginners, experienced people can make it fast, and there's yeah no excuse not to when it's quick. There you go, Mum. Do you want your picture taken as well from me? I also make scarves like this fox here and here's the project um, from the cover of my book and I do have them in like a super chunky version as well which is for beginners because he's a lot of work like 300 odd rows in double knits so he's not for the faint hearted kind of knitters but great for when you're watching telly or on the train so yeah. <laughs> Whether it's knitting, baking, you know, sewing, anything that it just involves your hands, I just absolutely love it and it's just the feeling you get when you make something and that's what it means to me is how important that is and I just, I love it.